let's see it because it's funny someone said in the comment uh papa will make a podcast out of this let's see what papa has to say because i'm really curious to hear what brendan has to say because brendan had this guy on his podcast grifting and forcing him to eat fucking raw meat even though he pretends to be you know somebody that 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 you know has has been on a, a all meat raw meat kind of diet when he was actually confronted with eating raw meat clearly he hadn't tasted a nut in his whole entire life and he was really flipping scared about the whole ordeal but let me play what he said about it because i think it's quite fascinating let's put it here uh let's play it this is brendan shaw ben brian callan's response to live a king and expose let's see what they have to say i'm doing bad things um it, and it's all debatable it infuriates me by the way that he's wearing an england top absolutely infuriates me there's nothing english about this guy he can j barely barely speak our language and there's nothing that connects him to this country apart from an alleged connection between his mum who it looks like he doesn't necessarily have the best relationship with in general but i fucking hate this such such a clout chater like he must own every jersey of every team that's ever existed in the world there's not a team in the world he does not support legitimately every franchise in the united states every team here flipping in the uk it's just it's absolutely horrendous enough already pick a team and stick with it whether it's bad now i'm sure you've seen the news on former firing the kid guest the liver king and still welcome back at any time and still welcome back at any time the liver king now let's get into it. So um, this person, this is this Barstool Sports? Yeah. Barstool. So uh, Billy Hot takes, but just found out Liver King may have done steroids. Utterly shocking. Could have never predicted this. I mean, I mean, yeah. And so the guy who, who actually, uh, I like this dude, the Place More Dates, uh, Derek guy. He's yeah. great. I get the feeling he doesn't like you, Brendan. So relax on that one. I don't think he likes you too much. I don't know. I got the feeling. He released... And Mark, you know more on this. Yep. Now, Derek at Place More Dates posted uh, an email from Liver King's. Do is it his doctor or is it some advisor? Like, isn't there a HIPAA it, loss here? Like, isn't this illegal? Is should, isn't somebody gonna be sued here? He, oh my god! That's the first thing he says. Somebody's gonna get sued here. That's when you know grifters. Grifters are always gonna grift, isn't it? Like there is, there must be a kinship around amongst grifters, or amongst fakes, amongst people who are deceiving their audience in one way, shape, or form. There's some sort of weird kinship that they all have in terms of faking it till you make it. Because imagine, I've not heard one person run to this being a hippo law thing, a violation. Not one person. Everyone wants to uncover the truth behind the, the, the flipping, you know, lies and whatever it may be. But he, the first response that he runs to is, isn't someone going to get sued for this? Wow. Uh, was sent uh, heavily redacted emails from a bodybuilding coach who the Liver King was corresponding with. So it wasn't with just one email. It was like back and forth, like, tell me everything about you. Because if you are going to be a bodybuilding coach, you have to know all these things about everything. somebody's routine, what they're taking now, what they want to take, what their goals are, what their problem areas are. Give me pictures of yourself doing these poses. Um, Gay. <laughs> which he actually pushed back and he's like, I have no time. I don't know what these poses are. I need to do this in the next 30 minutes. Yeah. It was one of the emails. But he forwarded this on. We don't know who that person is. He forwarded it on to Derek. Um, and Derek went through all these emails it, that would be more speculative if it was just that you go maybe somebody photoshopped it but then derek looked at that email that sent the emails to this bodybuilding coach and checked in his own inbox and found that he had had similar emails requesting consultations on hgh and anabolic steroids from from, Liver King. from uh you know this guy at ancestral supplements whatever and that's Liver either King. brian johnson or the liver kid whatever it is but like yeah. we're presuming it's the same email. email yeah and also a, another email from somebody on his team, like asking something in that vein too. Like, but also it was before he went public. So it wasn't like in the midst of his fame. It was before. It was like, right. Kyle, <laughs> beat your email, Liver King. Let me train you, bro. <laughs> Hello. Before. Because he also explains the email. He's like, hey, I'm, I'm going to launch this, you know, 
uh, primal, whatever it Correct. is, like primal, what, what's his primal something? He's like, before yeah. I launch this, like I'm putting a ton of my money and investing my time in this. I'm hiring a team. Like yeah. we're trying to reach 1 million followers, like with my positive message. And he's like, I got to, you know, look great. I got to look the part. Yeah. Here's what I'm currently doing. My body's not responding to the HGH, uh, Correct. And the IGF one. I'm taking $11,000 a month in uh, HGH, which he's overpaying. But so it's like, he, and then he breaks down the rest of all the shit he's yeah. doing. And I guess, like I like this was coming. Right? He's lying. That's there's nothing to guess here. There's nothing else to figure out. He purported to be natural. He's clearly not. It's a lie. Hold your hands up and admit it and keep it moving. There's nothing else to talk about here. But these guys are gonna twist themselves into pretzels to excuse this behavior, right? Like we, and then you and I get some blowback is when Liver King came on here. Fans were like, oh, I can't believe you didn't ask for if he's on steroids. Fucking what? Uh, I'm listen. Let me just say this. Whoa. This is not news. Is everybody surprised that we all know? Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. It says a lot about you guys. No, everybody knew. And in fact, it was always tongue in cheek with this guy. Look, this guy, Brian Johnson, has been playing. It was never tongue in cheek. He's profusely denied it to the point where he's been blocking people. It's not, it's not tongue in cheek. It's never been tongue in cheek. It's never been tongue in cheek. That's why Joe Rogan didn't want to platform him because he didn't want him promoting his message on his fucking podcast purporting to be natural. And saying that these supplements helped him get the way he is when clearly he's on steroids. It doesn't make any sense. But of course, these guys, because they turned into the, you know, the place where cancelled and fringe characters go, they had him on there. And plus, you know, he's very popping at the moment. So they clearly was going to add to their views. But Jesus Christ, these guys, man. Character. This was a this was a marketing thing. He's been playing a character. Uh, it seems to have worked. And it was always done tongue in cheek. At the end Shane, of the day, the guy's saying page. work out. He's saying work out, get sun, sleep, and eat, eat oh, no, the page good with all food. His stuff, oh, good food. Time. But when you look at his body, no one was no one was under the illusion. If if you're not like what, then come on, yeah, you're I silly goose. And I, I got news for you, Liberace was gay. So yeah, also exactly. It, yeah, it's like yeah, and, oh, what are we talking Adam about Levine here? likes other women. Have you, have you guys not heard of the concept of lying? Just because you know I'm lying and I'm still lying and benefiting from my lies. It doesn't mean me lying isn't a bad thing. Uh, isn't there a, isn't there something about good practice, good business, ethics involved in this, principles, morals, doing right by your customers and your fans by being clear and saying, hey, I know I am promoting this message and promoting this lifestyle and promoting this physique, but let me just let you know, let me let you into a secret. It's not all to do with the supplements. There's other help I'm getting also, which is not affordable to the common person I know, but this also helps me get the extra bit of edge. But you can still get to a pretty decent level doing the things that I'm doing without the HGH. It can still be achievable because look what I did before. Here's what I looked like before. It's still quite, you know, I'd imagine he still was fairly in good shape before he did HGH. Not maybe as swole as he is and ripped and vascular as now, but still to a good level. So the idea that lying isn't a bad thing is really interesting how they're basically going about this but it says a lot about them guys in, in general but hey let's continue so the thing is is with liver king like adam what adam levine yeah 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 the, the singer yeah yeah, singer, yeah he loves chicks yeah i mean yeah, yeah he's rock star anyway, right dime like, piece anyway, right but it's nothing like when that came out everyone's like i can't believe it. i'm like oh wow i didn't realize how stupid people were that, i mean so even with him it's like when liver king came on here if off the bat you're like come on dude you're on steroids right now he's notoriously i mean he's denied it I, but he also talked about it like wasn't it who said was it logan paul who said why have you why don't you talk about your steroid use uh, somebody somebody said bradley martin i think bradley martin said what bradley martin because i was talking to bradley yesterday because bradley's it. bradley's in the community he's like i don't get why people are surprised he kind of like uh kind of alluded to it on my pod yeah it's basically like you know kind of was like Here, here's my thing with all this like a if you're surprised you're just just kind of a dumbass like there's so many sheep out there where if this is if you really thought he was on steroids the same sheep that buy thick boy clothing the same sheep that listen to this podcast the same sheep that listen to you when it came to fucking covid the same sheep that go to your shows these guys are insufferable insufferable the excuses you'll make imagine 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 the scruples on these gentlemen this dude lied to his audience fleeced them out of hundreds if not thousands of dollars in the pursuit and the idea that he was selling them a particular type of lifestyle that would get them to look a particular type of way regardless you think that people, those fans were naive or not they bought into it because he purported himself to be honest and true so this idea of masculinity about being truthful about having principles about having morals 
all this sort of nonsense and gobbledygook and he got exposed to be a liar now it's not a big deal we all lie but it's a lie <laughs> do you know what i mean it's bad like it's fucked up how he flicks his fans for the most part it's legitimately fucked up especially in the face of pushback from the community saying hey is this true hey is this true hey is this true and he didn't want to fess up towards it this is legitimately redacted on another level but also explains a lot about these guys as people and as human beings 100 percent, the worst of the worst defending a lone liar and a cheat and then b i don't really care because his message overall yeah. his message is health so if you could please go back to his website Jen, that's why i wanted up okay. so his message so by the same token if a woman's message was about being attractive and about working out and being healthy and you found out that she got work done completely reconstructive work to the head to toe lipo butt implants tits done teeth, everything obviously she's working out but all that stuff on top of it but she denied getting all that work done would that still make her message okay was is that still true the same thing by the same token what the fuck are these guys talking about is, is health and you look at you know cold plunges the cold tub he talks about sleep eat move shield connect cold sun fight bond so the message is so positive yeah. to me that outshines anything of course he's on shit. of yeah. course you say that because he also shields what's that stuff that joe rogan takes that's that's why they're saying that right because joe rogan's fucking shields that what's that um on it supplements that have been you know there's some papers out there that are basically stipulating that it's probably full of shit in terms of his claims and clearly that'll be the same thing he's saying because rogan lifts a lot trains a lot reads a bunch of books podcasts with some really intelligent people his lifestyle he's promoting and how to live your life and how to approach life is more positive than him shilling these fake pills that don't actually do anything get out of here man and i hate to tell you guys whatever whether it's joe weeder arnold schwarzenegger rogan? whatever book that you got as a kid or whoever you looked up to they were on shit man it doesn't mean they're bad people it doesn't mean they're cheating the system and, and also the, the bad thing is that he lied about it you fucking oh these guys on I, I, I don't know if they're insulting my intelligence on i don't know i don't know and also you got to realize yeah. that liver king was and it is what it is was gifted with a foundation where he's genetically gifted so this stuff obviously enhances that but he people have it confused where if they take steroids, they think they're going to look like Liver King or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, you, work your ass you can off. take all the stuff you want. If you don't have an insane work ethic, it does not matter. So to me, when Liver King came in here, I assume he's taking shit, but uh, uh, don't care. But I assume the reason he's successful is because of his discipline and he does live that lifestyle. Whether or not he's taking steroids, it does not take away from his message. And that's why we had him on the show. Well, I don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, so, so for me, he was actually a good person. I got a kick out of him going, subprimal, so because yeah. I was wearing my Invisalign. Yeah. I always uh, looked at him as a very humorous American character and a multi. My buddy Brian Cooley said it best. He goes, I listened to the Liver King and he sounds like a multi level marketer. Absolutely. He sells supplements, he's got a whole business. He came up with a. So, MLM. So, you're okay to endorse MLM proponents? That's what these guys are saying here. The scummiest of the scum. It says everything about these guys, isn't it? Hollywood grifters willing to take the money of the easily deceptive, easily defaulted, um, easily deceived hordes of paws. Because that's essentially they're buying it. No one in their class of people is buying any of this shit. It's all us regular people on the fucking low totem poles who are looking up at these people thinking that they're living a life one way and that they've got things sorted out and sussed out. And maybe if we just switch to an all meat diet that suddenly we're going to turn into these swell monsters that everyone's going to like and appreciate and respect when really they're grifting and fleecing us out of our money to line their pockets so they can buy Teslas and fucking $500 elephant sandals that have been made with blood money. Go fuck yourself. Character to sell his business. He wears... He wears pelts. He wears no shoes or a shirt. In restaurants everywhere. He's got a huge beard. It's a fucking cartoon character. He's doing, he's got a great sense of humor about it. He's, it's a character. I, I think it is. It so, some, it's a heightened character, but it's also, yeah. it's a character, right? Is he, it's an exaggerated version of himself. Yeah. But he's actually a really good human being. 
That's why I care about the guy. Yeah. I don't give a... F- oh, of course he's not. How, how can he be a good human being if he fundamentally lied about what he's doing? I don't understand this. Their perception of a great guy is fucking bizarre. He was nice to me at a comedy club. Great guy. He gave me a set at a comedy store. Great guy. He booked me for this gig. Great guy. He recommended me a good place to get a Fender for my Porsche. Great guy. He double tapped like my Twitter DM. Great guy. He shared my new special on his social media. Great guy. What? Excuse me? Anything about how he treats his family how he looks after his wife the people he looks after in terms of his friendship group no none of that stuff the money he goes to charity what how he does right by his fans nah that's not great guy lie as much as you want about your fans it's up to your fans but if you if you can't figure out i'm lying that's up to you that's your fault so i guess it makes sense because he's the same guy that lies about collaborations oh i had this collaboration with fucking who's that bike brand that he was doing when you're doing the bike club thing it wasn't a collaboration it was just a flipping blank thing that you can do online where anybody can design something with a i forgot i forgot it was a service that you could use where you can get your stuff I think it's specialized you can get your stuff made with specialized branding but he lied and made it seem like it was an official collaboration same with the thick boy jerseys when he first put them out he made it seem like it was a collab between him and mlb when essentially it was him sourcing i guess mlb jerseys and changing the letters to look like safe thick on them which is essentially another way of doing a custom order but he made it seem like it was an mlb thing then i guess they changed the wording because maybe they're going to get sued legally about it but he's known to do this himself this is a thing that he does clearly himself even the japanese whiskey it's not japanese whiskey really is it if you look at what people have said online and some of the experts about the whiskey community it's not really japanese whiskey i think there's i forgot what it is there's something about the the barrels that they use like, there's something about the terminology of japanese whiskey where the the whatever the lowest common on whatever the lowest whatever the bare minimum is to be japanese whiskey that's what he's got in his thing so it's not really japanese whiskey and he acts like he you know spent time fucking you know mulling over the fragrance and the build and whatever the taste of the whiskey was sort of nonsense when it's not really one it's just a white label thing that he got done that anybody else can get done as well if they wanted to so clearly there's some clearly this is coming from a personal place where if he's being exposed then i might be exposed so let me put myself out there and kind of protect myself in that regard but this is shambolic man shambolic should be ashamed of themselves the way they're defending this and like i said it's not that big of a deal for me personally also i just think it's one of those things where it's really kind of leaves a salutation right because he was purporting that that lifestyle that he's living will make you look the way he does the fact that he does gear is no one's business whatever do what you want but you can't sell this caveman lifestyle look like me i eat raw meat when you're doing 11k of fucking gear like fuck off man come on let's let's be real if he if you got it's like if you got if you got a couple st- like i know some people do this thing where like i forgot what it's been i think it's called like is it called cycling i forgot i think it's stereo second where you do some then you then you d- go off it for a while but if you have the residual effects of it or the residual sorry effects of it maybe that's one thing but if he's been doing 11k worth of steroids every single month since 2021 and he's still eating raw meat and he's working like come on man you're taking a piss now if you did it before when you first started to get yourself a little bit of a, a boost and to give yourself a little bit of a kickstart so you don't start from absolute zero understandable but to say your entire physique is based off eating raw meat but then now we're finding out your entire physique is not based on raw meat it's based on the foundation of steroids with the addition of raw meat and the addition of all these other things that you're doing on top of it come on bro it's an absolute bona fide lie you're a charlatan that's essentially what you are and this whole persona that you build around yourself is essentially fake you might as well just bin that because there's nothing about liver king that makes sense now because you you know like i said the lifestyle's meant to make you look that way but now we find out you have other parts of your lifestyle you didn't share with people fake but again his message overall if you did buy into his program look prioritize ten thousand steps a day well that's healthy take a cold, take a cold shower, shower. Yep. that's healthy walk healthy. barefoot, walk barefoot connect, connect to the earth, earth. yeah all that you're, you you got to remember and again if you guys want to take away from liver king and this is what's wrong with society especially social media is when when people are at a certain level, everyone wants to tear them down. They want to take them down. And they're like, no, if you lie, if you lie and you're somebody prominent and you build your entire platform off the basis of a lie, we've seen it with Theranos, we've seen it with this SVX guy, people are going to want to uncover it because you're lying to thousands of people, hundreds of people, millions of people. You've got people's money in your hands. You're, uh, you're gaining for it monetarily also. Clearly, people are going to want to figure out the truth behind it. And also, sometimes, in the pursuit of the truth, 
or in pursuit of exposing your lies, they find that you're actually telling the truth and it makes you look better in some cases. They want to uncover your lie, they realize, oh no, this guy's for real, he's legit. He's actually a good person. He's actually doing the things that he's saying he's doing. And he's doing more on top of that. Oh my God, suddenly now you've got fans for life. There's nothing you can do wrong in their eyes. But if you're living a fake life, if you're doing stuff behind closed doors, in darkness, unfortunately, in this life, it all comes to light. It's just impossible to keep it all hidden. It really is. I mean, he's, a snake are mad he's, a, because, he's a snake uh, salesman. Yeah, well, that's well, So people are mad because maybe I would have... He's, he's a snake. He wants to tear him down. They want to take him down. And they're Maybe like, he's a snake oil he's a, he's a snake, uh, salesman. Yeah, well, that's but he basically is a snake oil salesman because all the stuff he's saying is one thing, the lifestyle, 10,000 steps. But if he's telling you that living this lifestyle, 10,000 steps, all that included, and the raw meat, is going to make you look the way he does, but he doesn't add the steroids bit, that's the definition of being a, sales, a snake oil salesman. He's saying this thing does one thing, but it does, it, it, it does nothing that what he's basically promoting it to do. Nothing completely. I don't understand. I really don't understand this guy. Well, well. So people are mad because maybe I would have to see what he said. Maybe w what he's if, see. Look, 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 he, look, 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 look how he's walking back it. Because I think Brian's meditating this and figure this out. Hearing Brendan talk and defend him so <laughs> so vehemently as maybe Brendan think Brian think. Hold on, if Brendan's defending this guy, this doesn't look good in general this is uh, in this is indefensible i don't think you'll find another person on social media defending liver king off the back of this apart from maybe other you know bodybuilder guys who have lied about not taking any gear i can't think of any other person that will be out there defending him he's selling supplements and a lifestyle um people are mad because he's saying you can have this body he's too. never said that right yes, he's he, never said that. yes he has yes he has my hey, i don't know what he's no i'm, I'm we telling have, you I, we have to be a little careful because we're yes, not he has. sure we don't know. I, yeah. we, I know. I, okay. I, I've looked into this. He's never said, mm -hmm. if you do exactly what I do on this program, this primal program, you're going to look just. That is still obs obfuscating the truth, my friend. Just because you don't say it word for word, you fucking whatever, it doesn't mean you're not lying. So maybe he didn't say categorically do this and look like me, which he did. But let's say he didn't say that. He did not say that he's taking steroids. That's the main part of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like me, get to my body fat, get to this right. muscle. No, no. His whole thing is living a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Yes, but 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 exactly, Uche. The weirdest. This is the thing that's. In, this is the thing that I think is just infuriating about people like this. Imagine dying on this hill, the Liver King Hill. Liver King. This is what you want to die on. Like I said before, it's not that big of a deal, and it is a big of a deal. The guy lied, hold your hands up, I lied, I do apologize. And if you're smart and you are and you have a, a bit of EQ and you have a bit of sincerity and humility about it, you, you can actually spin this in your, in your advantage. I'm just glad this is out in the open now. I've been carrying this life for the longest time. I know I speak about it in my doctrine or my kind of program of speaking and of leading your life that you should be, uh, uh, you, do, you should always be clear in your intentions. You should never lie. A man should be a man of honor and principle. This has been something that's been eating away at me from the moment I burst onto the scenes. I obviously took a lot of gear when I was first dying to give me the boost I needed to get myself fact on social media now i can categorically say i'm willing to take a test to get you know to prove that i haven't been on something for a while but this is something that has been in my past that i didn't really wasn't really proud of in uh, in general but i hope this doesn't take away from the overall message of living your optimal primal life and i'm going to do my best to rectify and da -da -da, whatever you could spin it you could absolutely spin this in your advantage if you had some sort of level of humility if you were really about helping people and not just lining your pockets you could ultimately spin this and make it work i swear to god you could but at the basis of this he went to get rich and he did he went to get rich he figured out a hack to do this stuff and it worked for him congratulations but when it comes to being a decent human being and doing right by your fans doing right by the community and kind of having uh some level of decorum principles morals stand you know whatever ethics guiding your life they're completely gone especially you'd imagine also sometimes when you get exposed you'd imagine that's the moment where you're like you know what this is a time for self-reflection let's kind of go back to the drawing board and fix things this will be the moment Maybe when you're doing stuff cloak and dagger and you're doing stuff, you know, behind closed doors and no one knows and through flipping encrypted chats and stuff and Tor browsers, 
is one thing. When your stuff gets exposed, at least have some sort of level of humility and be like, you know what? Yeah, man, you're right. I did do that. I fucked up, man. I apologize to all my fans or my followers. I don't like to present. I don't like to present one way. Lying is one thing I really do uh, hate, and I'm really upset that I kind of let myself down and my fans by doing this with my family. Hope you guys don't judge me too harshly on this. I'm gonna go out to the drawing board and see how I can make this right. But whatever, say something, do something, be a decent person. And these fucking redacts here defending this stuff. It's indefensible, indefensible. Not a big deal, but when you're defending the lie, it makes you look worse legitimately makes you look worse but but you could make the argument you could make the argument that he's talking about a healthy lifestyle and if he's doing all these drugs that's not so healthy and i think some people are going hold on you're 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 pitching health but you yourself are taking a slew of let's probably cost him a fortune and in fact all the muscle and all this is a result of doing something that's actually artificial subprimal and not healthy so it is it grates Duh. against the message so people feel like they're being either lied to or that he's lying the way i looked at this is number one i never bought any of his pro i don't buy it i haven't bought any of his stuff I was I just of course get him on the show don't buy his products you don't really rate it but get him to grift makes sense I just have always found him entertaining as an american of course brendan buys his products character obviously he's a good marketer obviously he's playing a character and I do agree that what he's saying, the message of health, the message that he's saying is healthy. Hey B, let me ask you this. These guys are legitimate redax, legitimate redax. But it also explains a lot. The people, I think if you went across the, if you kind of scanned the majority of social media and content creation out there, and you picked apart the people who were defending Liver King, you would probably find a lot of people who have similar sort of characteristics and principles, how they carry themselves in lives and maybe how they are received and looked at for sure, for sure, for sure. You'd find other redacts, you'd find other deplorable human beings who are defending Liver King in this instance, especially if they're using this sort of um, verbiage to flip and defend him. I'm sure of it. If you went across social media, you'll find people with a similar type of personalities as these type of guys. For sure. I'm, I'm almost certain of it. Almost certain. Because this is legitimately one of the worst defenses I've seen of anybody doing something like this I've ever seen in my entire life. To your point of yeah. use, uh, snake oil and all that stuff and lying to people. Yeah. <laughs> and lying to people, you know, who cares? <laughs> name someone in the fitness space you look up to. Name name somebody in entertainment that you look up to who's like a... If they're not selling fitness supplements under the guise that they're going to make me look like them in a movie, it doesn't fucking matter. A strong male. Give me one uh, or i'll go chin too not mark mark knows yeah. natty people but um <laughs> chin name name like growing up who'd the you rock like? the rock chris hemsworth chris yeah. hemsworth sure yeah brian oh you're talking about like the physical Whoever. people out there yeah guys 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 man man i, I admire jake Paul. Of I, I admire jake's uh, uh work ethic. okay that's gay no but i'm talking like no i'm talking like uh um, entertainment in the fitness like entertainment oh, and the, I'm, I'm sorry like he's not a competing athlete oh athlete the athlete different thing. stallone schwarzenegger sure. you steroids, know. Steroids. keep going yeah yeah i mean um uh yeah i mean and there are there are you certain, said the rock there mm -hmm. are certain athletes all the steroids he would make he would make this look like a short essay compared to the the amount of shit running through The Rock's body. Do you care that The Rock is jacked and preaching healthy lifestyle and working out, and his whole brand is health? Go back, please. His whole to, brand is health. Yes, go back to the Liver King. The energy. Rock's entire brand is health. The Rock was just talking about longevity on an interview. There you go. Recently. He's like, do you care about like preparing for the role more or longevity? He's like, definitely longevity. And now do you guys really? want, do you want to cancel The Rock? Do you want to take The Rock out next? What do you, how, like, you got to pick and choose here. You guys, oh. I love when he thinks he's being intellectual with these sort of points of view and these arguments. Is The Rock purporting to be the liver king? Is The Rock selling supplements and a eating regime, you know, all meat diet, all raw diet under the guise that it's going to make you look veiny? It's going to make you look bulky. It's going to make you look jacked. Is he doing that? Because if he is, then you cancel in the same way the Liver King's getting cancelled. If he's just being a movie star and trying to look great in movies and working out excessively in all the gyms he goes to visit, then who the fuck gives a fuck? But if he's trying to line these pockets off the back of trying to be natural, I guarantee you he's going to get exposed the same way everyone else gets exposed. It happens to everybody. It's not even personal. This happens in the fitness and the weightlifting industry all the time, which is why I said at the beginning of this little segment, I don't understand why these influencers bother to lie about taking gear because it's not as if everybody no one in this industry is dumb enough to think that anybody is not on gear everyone assumes you're on it and if you prove you're not then all good 
but people just assume you are so why would you even lie about it because it's not gonna hurt your sale it's not like people are not gonna buy your your fucking stuff because you're genetically gifted and because your parents are former fucking olympians and something or because you're just you're from a particular region of the world where people just grow and you know look a certain way no they're still gonna buy stuff because they like you that's what most of this stuff is about influencer marketing it's about people just buying stuff because they like you simple as that i don't know man you got to pick and choose. Do you want to take The Rock out? No, no, no. I think... Um, so, no, so we want to take Liver King out because he's a lying fucking cunt. That's it. Simple as that. And if he apologizes and makes amends, it'll be all good. But we want to take him out because he lied that he doesn't take anything. He's taking 11K worth of fucking HGH. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> is it... The Rock denies... Uh, doesn't you are talking steroids? about a guy who is, who is selling supplements, um, liver and bone marrow and nutrient dense, nose to tail diet, all that stuff. Okay. Um, and there does seem to be, uh, there does seem to be, uh, there's a lot of money being made on selling supplements. Which is healthy. And when you sell supplements, it claims a certain out. Exactly, you fucking pricks. No, I, I, don't, I, mean, I haven't it, looked there's at no, this. There's no claim by, that if you yeah, take protein powder, it's gonna look like him. Yeah. By implication. Well, like but yeah, when I, when I, exactly. Is he being facetious on purpose? Do you think he's being facetious on purpose or do you think he's absolutely disredacted? What do you guys think? When I was, yeah. when I was 12, I yeah. thought if I took muscle tech, I'd look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Look, look, I, it goes back to this. It goes back. To of course, similar people have the same connection when they take a protein from a particular influence or a fitness person. Why is he finding it so hard to understand? If you're surprised that this man was doing. You deserve stuff, it. You deserve it. I mean, it. you're, you're, mm -hmm. it's, that's hilarious. Yeah. Then go get a booster shot. I'm not, I'm not, you know, by the way, I still think he's hundred percent natural. And I'm sticking to my guns, but, um. You know, at the end of the day, everybody in Hollywood that you look at, everyone in Hollywood that you look at is doing so. Now, now look at this. This is Chris Hemsworth preaching. Uh, he, he has this whole workout fitness uh, center power. And an app. And he has an app to mm -hmm. get big and stuff like that. Do, should we take him out next? Now, I if don't know if you have news or not. You, you, have you seen when he's getting ready to play Hulk Hogan? You see how massive he Hulk, got? The Hulk now, Hogan or Hulk? Uh, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. And so those three gentlemen on there, if we take a piss test, USADA is banning. These guys won't be allowed to fight for two years in the UFC. I mean. I, mean, I hate to break everybody's heart so, out there. So, so Most just, of the listeners are like, yeah, no shit. Dude. So just so you know, like when I, when I was going to do a movie with a big director, he gained some weight, mm -hmm. muscle. And I went to my trainer. He's sick. He's a strong man. He's been in gyms his whole life. He was 60 at the time, maybe 55, whatever. And I said, I need to put on, I walk up to him, B, and you'll like this. <laughs> and I go, hey, man, I got to put on 20 pounds of muscle. Yeah. And he goes like this. He goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes, <laughs> yeah? I go, yeah. He goes, and how do you want to do that? I go, well, I don't know. I just, maybe we should start lifting heavier and then just give me a diet plan. And he looked at me and he Impossible. goes, Brian, you're a coat hanger. Genetically, I can't do that now. Especially at your age. never forget this. He goes, if you give me two years, and I put you on gear, I can maybe get you 20 pounds heavier. It'll be tough. If you eat a yeah. lot. Yeah. And even that would be tough, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm not. So when you see a lot of these guys, whether it's Zach Efron or whoever, in, in, oh. in these, or if you look at the, the cast of most of the people in 300. Uh, what do you mean most? All of them. Dude. Yeah. Everybody is, everybody would be so amazed in, in Hollywood. Dan Bilzerian said it. Dan Bilzerian said, everybody. Everybody you you see in Hollywood at one point or another is doing something. You know, shit. I might be the only person. Yeah. I might be the only person on the planet. But you never really, besides that one role, they never asked you. Yeah, I know, it's not your thing. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, of course. Is that is that? <clears throat> uh, it's it's the height of naivete. To but, think. but 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 here's still claiming natty. I'm still. But here's the thing, V. <laughs> so here's the thing. You brought up 300. Remember 300 really started the surge <laughs> of. Um, fucking the shit you like. Uh, CrossFit. CrossFit. Yeah. The the uh, the Spartan workout, right? Yes. Now, do you care that the gentlemen on the movie who were shredded, right? And obviously there was some graphics and shading and air spraying going on, but still, yeah. those guys were shredded. They started a movement that is actually really healthy. Yeah. Do you right. care that the start of it was guys that were genetically modified on PEDs? No, the overall message was this cool CrossFit. This guy is absolutely redacted, man. Like, uh, I think uh, I think I'm gonna stop there because it's already reaching three hours. But this defense of the Liver King is insulting to most people's intelligence. I think so, because at the core of it, at the core of it, at the core, the issue is that even if you believe the Liver King didn't categorically come out and say if you eat meat only and you eat livers and you eat guts and hearts and testicles and all this sort of nonsense, you're gonna look to Jack Tavani as he is. 
he did allude, allude to it. He did make it seem as if if you do this, this is going to have this effect. In the same way that, you know, they say with fucking Alpha Brain, if you take it suddenly, you're going to, it's like a limitless pill. They don't really do a good job of really explaining what it actually does. You still have to take some sleep. You still have to work out, have a balanced diet. But they make it seem like you take this Alpha Brain, suddenly your brain fucking expands and you can use the percentage of your brain that's not really active or that sort of nonsense. Same with Liver King. So he didn't necessarily clear up or you know make it known what he's actually doing then on top of that on top of that he was doing 11k worth of gear that's the fucking funny part of it like that's the part that was never revealed to people so he kept that secret so if that's if if that's allowed if that's not a lie then these guys are you know i don't know it just says more about them as a character's people that they are kind of defending this indefensible notion in the first place it's absolutely abhorrent it's just beyond worse to even kind of describe and kind of even get into and it really just insults most people's intelligence but jesus christos like i said i don't necessarily care i think he can still come back from this like i said if he was humble and had the humility to be like hey I fucked up, you know, I kind of let you guys down, I sold this one thing, but hopefully you guys don't think this takes away from this thing, blah, 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 he could, he could come back, he could still come back, but somebody who would lie to this extent, and lie this, you know, fucking strongly about this thing, in the face of all this countering evidence, is clearly somebody that's probably not the greatest of guys, and people that would go out of their way to defend somebody doing that, aren't probably the greatest of guys either so it's just a real big douchebag circus and they can all basically enjoy themselves with each other's company and all that sort of malarkey but it's pretty abhorrent everything's horrible i hate every little part of it and <laughs> i don't know what else to say it really is horrendous what a horrendous hill to die on man honestly